What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So last video I said I was gonna do a giveaway. So I have this Maverick barbering kit that I'm gonna send to one of you lucky subscribers. So the lucky person today is Kim Malone. I believe she's from Nashville, Tennessee. She says, my students and I watch your videos every day. We love your vlogs. We also attended your class at Fashion Focus in Nashville, Tennessee. So Kim, thank you so much. Thank you to the students for watching these videos. Today, what we're gonna focus on is a chocolate bob. Yes, I'm gonna color a bob chocolate colors using the brand new Paul Mitchell chocolate series. This is the end result that we get. We get a multi-dimensional brown hair color. Um, I think it's a really cool technique that you can use in all different ways with different tones. So I hope you guys like it. Let's get started, here we go. I'm very excited to share with you guys this video. Today we're gonna focus on Coloring a Bob Chocolate Colors. This is the brand new Chocolate Plus series from Paul Mitchell. Um, so I wanted to create a video that had multi-dimension and I know that coloring a bob is also sometimes a little bit difficult. So um, the two tones that I chose for this particular bob, I really wanted to bring it into a deep kind of dark chocolate. So I used a level four, and then I'm also gonna use a level six to create that multi-dimension. Now, um, the mannequin starting off, or maybe your guest or whatever, um, She's already living at about a level six, so I just wanted to change the tone of her um, previously, uh, her previous level, but the four, I'm really gonna drop her down. So I want that to be the majority of the technique is the level four, and then I'm gonna use the level six as like a highlight. So we mix these equal parts um, in the bowl, 20 volume. The reason I chose 20 volume uh, instead of 10, I just feel like 20 volume reacts a little bit better on a mannequin. But if I'm just depositing hair color and not lifting it, then I would definitely probably go with a level 10, especially for that uh, the, the level four hair color. And then for the six, I'd probably use the 20 volume. So just make that adjustment with your human guess. Um, but for today, we're using 20 volume. So the sectioning for this is very simple. Um, I don't like to overcomplicate hair color because to me, it's more of an organic feel anyways. So what I do is I basically take uh, a horseshoe type section around right at the mid crown area, and then I work with the round of the head. So it, I kind of think of things in haircutting terms. I'm working um, around section, following the round of the head, basically creating straps of color. And I start with my darkest color first. I really want to put that dark color right around the face because, again, it's going to be the majority of the color. It's the color I'm choosing because I feel that's going to go best with her skin tone. Um, so I'm going to start with the four, and then I do another strap that comes around, and that's going to be my level six. So I paint that in. Now, the other thing that I want you to notice is that as I round the head, as I get behind the ear into the depth of this bob, um, I'm going to use the darker color pretty much throughout the entire back portion. Um, two reasons, because when you're coloring a bob, I don't want to put too many highlights in the very back because it's going to look spotty. Um, as that graduation builds up, um, it, it can look a little spotty when you add highlights to it. So I like to paint that deeper tone all the way through into the back. So I'll switch up my technique. Um, I'll start with the lighter color and then shift into the darker color when I get back there. So again, I went dark, light, dark, and then light. So I'm in the light portion now. And notice, because I'm working diagonal back, each one of these sections is gonna fall over the other. If I did these vertical, then I would get a more stripey effect. Even though the tones aren't that different, um, I still want it to have a nice little blend to it. So I'm going diagonal back, each of those sections is still gonna have kind of, it's gonna come out, you're gonna see it, but it's not gonna lay super stripey. So I like using the diagonal. So the last section, I'll use the lighter tone. That lighter tone is gonna kind of lay over uh, the rest of the back. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side, starting off with my dark color, um, working diagonal back. I've already painted most of the back part of the hair, so, um, this side becomes a little bit quicker, and I'll just work my way up. Now this series, um, they call it the Plus Series because it's great for gray coverage, so if you're looking for gray coverage within this product, um, it's, it's great for that. This would be a great thing for my guests that have gray hair to be able to create multi-dimension because you don't wanna just paint one color on your guests, that's not a natural look. So being able to go through, mix up your tones, this could even be a redhead or um, you know blonde, whatever you wanted, it's still gonna have a nice blend to it. So even if you don't like these tones or you're not trying to go dark darker with your guest, it's still a great placement, so remember that. Same thing, uh, I'm at my darker tone again. I went dark, light, 
dark and I'll go light at the top portion. And just painting that through. This is my last section going with my light level six uh, CH. So there we go. Now I'm going to move into the top. The top's pretty simple as well. We're going to go kind of with the same effect. What I wanted to do is just take my first horizontal strap across the top um, and then I'm going to build triangles off of that. And the reason I went with the horizontal strap is I want that brightness to kind of fall over uh, the entire head just as a highlight in the back. And then I'm going to work through these triangle pieces and I'm going to crisscross the triangles. So almost pizza slices fi fitting in. Um, to help everything blend as well. So if we do like straps across the top and we keep everything very uniform and in the same direction, uh, what happens is you can get a little bit of a stripey look. If you don't wanna create those stripes in the hair color, then crisscross your triangles and you'll get a blend on both sides. So no matter how they wear their hair, it's gonna blend in there. So I went dark on my first triangle, light on the second triangle, then I'll go dark on the next triangle and then light uh, to finish it off. So you can see, I take it from the tip of that triangle and I go right over and just create about a, an inch wide section uh, by the end of the triangle. And the last section I'm gonna do is gonna be my lighter section. If you didn't wanna do that, there's nothing wrong with uh, creating kind of a thick feel, but this uh, particular haircut is worn on the left-hand side parting. So all that hair that's on top of this section right here is gonna fall over it. So you'll see in the end result, we get that kind of dark chocolate falling over it. It really makes it pop because you got this little bit of lighter hair that falls down right across the cheekbone. So you'll see it in one second when I show you the after. So this is our technique. Uh, again, you guys can use this in multiple different ways. You don't have to do it exactly the way I did it. So let me finish it off so I can show you what the end result is. I'm using Paul Mitchell Fast Form, speeds up your drying time, it's got a medium hold. Um, so I'm gonna blow dry that. Then I use Hot Off The Press as a heat protectant and it's got a nice medium hold to it. And I smooth out the hair that way and I finish it with an Awapui finishing spray. And then you can see, look at all the dimension in this color technique. Um, like I said, you can use it on any tones that you want, um, but see the blend, but it's also bold. So that's what I like about this technique. I hope you guys like it. I'd love to see your pictures. If you have any questions, hit me up on social media at Free Salon Education. Thanks for watching.